Good evening guys. Today I'm coming on and I'm going to do a process video on the By the Well for God kit, the Abba Father, Intimacy with God Through Prayer. So this devotional is going to walk us through um, praying and prayer. It's kind of the meat of being a Christian and um, I know that I for one uh, struggle with making time for that, um, finding time to designate just for prayer. Um, I try to use this time and my devotional time to really have a heart to heart with God. Um, but you know, life happens and we get busy and so it's not always easy. Um, so day one, we're talking about, uh, drawing near to God with confidence. Um, and in here it's just talking about um, the term Abba. Um, it's, the word is, um, it's God. And it's referred to as, um, it's a term uh, that is understood to be similar or equivalent to the word daddy. Um, it's a word that expresses a solid, intimate relationship with a father who completely knows and loves his child. Um, and here it gives you the three scriptures where it's mentioned. Um, but I'm actually going to be journaling Hebrews 4.16. And it says, Let us then, with confidence, draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Um, I do struggle. I think... I struggle with confidence in uh, my prayer sometimes. I actually just purchased a Bible. Um, let me grab it actually. I wasn't planning on showing this, but. Um, I love it so much, I had to have it. I saw a review done on YouTube. It's got sand all over it because I took it to the beach this past weekend for Memorial Day. Um, but this Bible talks about, it, it has inserts of prayers from people in history, um, prophets and, um, I'm trying to see if I can find, um, like, the different people um, and it just has 400 different prayers from them and here it's like showing you where in, in the scripture their prayers are specifically oh it's just a really pretty uh, Bible and I feel like this is gonna help me with my prayer life um, so yeah just wanted to kind of show that uh, Bible off So I want to try something different today. I wanted to do a background using some texture. I'm hoping that it comes out the way I'm envisioning it. Um, so I'm just going to use this stamp here that came with the kit. And it's a really pale pink and I like that. I like that it's not too bright. So there's that. And then, let me see. So yeah, I never really heard the term, I mean Abba. Um, and Yahweh's another one that I kind of I, would, I never really grew up knowing those words or hearing them and, and now they have songs and things with those words in them. Let's see, I'm going to try something new, I don't know if it'll work. Let me see, can you see this? I'm off camera. Um, I'm just going to kind of wet this, Let's see if I can color gray on here, my Neo 2 crayon. Like if I get it wet enough, it'll come out. Let's 
Let's see. I hope it's not too dark. Everybody had a good Memorial Day holiday. I know I thoroughly enjoyed myself at the beach this weekend. I don't know if this is too watered down now, but so much but whatever with me this is all about scripture and using this time to you know pray and focus on the word of God I am finding that doing these videos it's a different experience I'm used to just kind of sitting here quietly and working through um, my devotionals, you know, on my own time. And so it's a little different having that this time, like on social media and sharing my intimate time with God with y'all. It's a different experience for sure. really like vellum a lot. I'm gonna do it like that and just layer. So in here she's saying on day one she's talking about speaking truth when you pray. And that'll help build confidence. And so she said, write a prayer to your Abba Father speaking truth rather than feeling. Um, and so she just gives you an example. And this would be a prayer. Thank you that you know me, you love me, you accept me, you delight in me, and you want to hear from me. Like, it's simple. It's a nice little simple prayer. I know when I first became a Christian, I used to pray. I remember uh, praying prayers like, why me? And um, I noticed that now I pray prayers of thankfulness and um, just praise. I, you know, he's done so much for me in my life and I've come a long way and I've grown in faith for sure over time it wasn't easy there were times where I like really struggled with being a Christian it's um, it's like there's more responsibility when you're a Christian and the more he calls us to do I felt like the more responsibility um, is on us you know at least that's just me personally, I feel like that. Um, I don't know if I want to use this on the strip or not. I love vellum. I think it's like just the texture. says Father and Amen, Amen, and Amen. I think that was cute. So there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just using what I have, what came in the kit. One of the 
the things that I feel like I've been struggling with this past year's confidence. Confidence in a lot of different areas, for sure. Um, I'm just gonna add some splatters before I do my writing. I don't know if y'all can see this. Another note, I um, ordered a new planner at uh, Dayspring. It's the new Studio 71 planner. Um, I'm really excited about that. I don't know if anybody else um, out there is a planner girl like me, but for me, a new planner signifies like a fresh start, a new beginning, um, which is totally relevant to me right now in, in my life. I um, actually just left a job that a very secure job that I had had um, to for a better opportunity hopefully um, a business endeavor that came up back in March and I've been working with the owners for a few months trying to you know figure out if we were gonna go forward and so today I had to make that executive decision if I should go full force and, um, you know, go ahead first into this. And so I did. I made that decision. And I know to the world it would seem crazy to do something like that. Um, and right now I'm totally living on faith um, that God's going to be my, my sole provider and my source. And he's always been and has never failed me. He's never let me down. And so today marks a new beginning and I'm very excited. And I am also very grateful. And so I'm just going to probably write my prayer down. Um, regarding some of that, but I do want to just, to practice um, speaking more truth in my prayers. I know some people quote like actual verses when they pray and they speak scripture in their prayers. Um, and sometimes like some of this, like you have to remind yourself that these things, you know, like even though you hear it or you think it, like sometimes you have to meditate on it. like. Like, you delight in me. I have to focus that God delights in me. He delights in who I am, what he's created me for. You know, it's good to have these things um, as reminders in your prayers sometimes. Um, God, you want to hear from me. God wants to hear from us. You know, and not just when you need him. He wants to hear from you through it all. He knows your heart. There's nothing you can hide from him. So you might as well just get it out in the open and speak truth. He knows everything anyways. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
got my pens. Let's see. This is the brush. 0.5. Ooh, this is tiny. I don't really like thin, thin pens. Let's see. What do we have here? We're doing verse um, Hebrews 4:16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Um, I'm sorry, I'm left-handed, so my thing. I have to really flip it out here. Um. wanting to do like a word title but I don't think I want to I think I'm just gonna let this all be prayer so I'm just gonna write out a prayer right now Father, thank you I just want to kind of steal some of this um, wording here. Do you know me? You love me? You accept me? You delight in me? Days. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna use that pink again for the date. We're just gonna stamp, stamp, stamp. Actually looks like a 29. That's it guys, thank you for watching. And this is the final page, let me just kind of zoom in here. Autofocus, it's not. That's it, very simple, very simple today. Thank you for watching.